Hey friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Master. As we all know that column is a compression member. Columns can be classified according to its shape and size. For example, according to the shape, we can classify it into square column, rectangular column, circular column and so on. Similarly, according to the loads acting on the column, we can classify it into axially loaded column, axial load with uniaxial bending, axial load with biaxial bending. And according to slenderness ratio, we can classify the column into long column and short column. So in this video, we are going to discuss about what is long column or slender column and what are all the additional moments we need to consider due to this long column effort. So without delay, let's start now. Let's discuss what will be the behavior of long column when the load is applied on the column. Generally, slender means long and thin. So when the load is applied on the slender column, it tend to buckle due to its slenderness. For example, let's consider this refill pen so it is thin and long so when the load is applied on this pen even you can hold a refill and then you can apply some load on it and it tend to buckle so the same thing happened to column when the load is applied on the long column it tend to buckle so long column will tend to buckle and then short column tend to crush when the load is applied on the column so crushing failure occurs in the short columns and buckling failure occurs in the long column first let's start with how we can classify the column into long column column and short column as per slenderness ratio. So in SP16, class number 3.4 has slender compression members. Here when the slenderness ratio LEX by D or LEY by B of a compression member exceeds 12, it is considered to be a slender compression member. Here this we need to consider. So LEX by D or LEY by D. So that value exceeds 12, then it is considered as a slender compression member that is long column. Here LEX and LEY being the effective length with respect to the major and minor axis respectively. LEX and LEY being the effective length of the column with respect to major and minor axis of the column. Let's have a glimpse of what is major axis and what is minor axis of the column. For example, consider this column. This is your XX axis and this is your YY axis. This is the width of the column and this is the depth of the column. When the force is applied on this direction, the column tend to bend like this. So here axis of bending is Y axis and Y axis is the major axis. X axis is the minor axis in this column. So the axis which is perpendicular to the longer dimension is called major axis and the axis which is parallel to the longer dimension is called minor axis. So here, so here this is the axis Y axis which is perpendicular to the longer dimension. So y axis is the major axis and the axis which is parallel to the longer dimension. So here x axis is parallel to longer dimension. So this is minor axis. So here axis of bending is y y axis when the force is applied in this direction. Similarly, let's look into this column. The column orientation is different when compared to this column here. So when the force is applied on this column, the column tend to bend like this. So here axis of bending is minor axis. Axis. Here y is the minor axis, x is the major axis. As I told you before, the axis which is perpendicular to the longer dimension is called major axis. So here x axis is the major axis and y axis will be the minor axis. This is the axis which is parallel to the longer dimension. So it is minor axis and x axis is perpendicular to the longer dimension. So this is the major axis. When the orientation of column changes, the axis of bending will also differ. So this is the concept behind major axis and minor axis of the column. When a compression member is slender with respect to major axis, an additional moment MAX given by the following equation should be taken into account in the design. MAX is equal to PUD divided by 2000 into LEX by D the whole square. So here PU is the axial load and D is the depth of the column, longer dimension of the column. LEX is the effective length with respect to major axis. Similarly, if the column is slender about the minor axis, an additional moment MAY should be considered. MAY is equal to PUB divided by 2000 into LEY by D the whole square. So these two are the additional moments we need to consider if the column is slender. The expression for additional 
moments can be written in the form of eccentricities of load as follows so these expressions can be further simplified by eccentricities m a x is equal to p u into e a x so e a x is d by 2000 into l e x they have simplified it only they have taken this p u and this they have taken as e a x so e a x by d is equal to 1 by 2000 into l e x by d the whole square table 1 gives the values of e a x by d or e a y by d for different values of slenderness ratio so this additional eccentricity for slender compression member l e x by d or l e y by d so according to the slenderness value we need to consider this e a x by d value instead of calculating this we can directly take this values from this table in accordance with the 38.7.1.1 of the code we can further reduce the additional moments by multiplying the factor k the k value can be calculated by using this formula k is equal to p u z minus p u divided by p u z minus p b which should be less than 1 here p u z is equal to we know this formula 0.45 f c k a c plus 0.75 f y a s which may be obtained from chart 63 and p b is the axial load corresponding to the condition of maximum compressive strain of 0.0035 so this is the compressive strain in concrete and tensile strain of 0.002 in outermost layer of tension steel so this can be further modified into k is equal to 1 minus p u by p u z divided by 1 minus p b by p u z should be less than 1 and then to find out this k value chart 65 can be used after calculating the ratios p u by p u z and p b by p u z let's just look into this example slender column with biaxial bending so here the size of the column is given as 40 by 30 cm grade of concrete m30 steel grade of steel is 415 newton per millimeter square effective length for bending parallel to larger dimension that is 6 meter effective length for bending parallel to shorter dimension that is 5 meter and supported length is 7 meter factored load is 1500 kN factored moment in the direction of larger dimension is 40 kN meter at top and 22.5 kN meter at bottom similarly factored moment in the direction of shorter dimension 30 kN meter at top and 20 kN meter at bottom so here the condition is column is bent in double curvature so the reinforcement will be distributed equally on four sides so first we need to find out the slenderness ratio that is lex by d and ley by d lex by d is equal to 6 6 is the effective length of the column which is parallel to longer dimension so that comes around 15 which is greater than 12 similarly ley by d effective length is 5 meter and the dimension is 30 cm so if we solve this we get 16.7 that is greater than 12 so therefore the column is slender about both the axes so how do we find out the additional moments because the column is slender about both the axes so we need to consider the additional moment along with that actual moment which is given in the problem so to calculate additional moments we need to find out this lex by d and ley by d so that we know already 15 and 16.7 so from table 1 we can find out this ex by d value and ey by d value and we can multiply that with the load factor load which which was given in the problem so let's see for 15 what is the value and for 16.7 what is the value from table 1 so for 15 ex by d we can consider that is 0.113 similarly for 16.7 we can interpolate these two value 0.128 and 0.145 and we get 0.140 from this we can find out the additional moments we know max is equal to pu into ex as we have seen here we have simplified this max additional moment is equal to pu multiplied by eax so eax by d we know eax by d value we have taken from this table simply we multiply that with this pu so max is equal to pu into ex which is equal to 1500 is the pu value factored load multiplied by eax by d is the value that is 0.113 multiplied by d so this also we need to multiply along with this so we get 67.8 kN meter similarly may is equal to pu into ey and if we solve this we get 63 kN meter so the above moments will have to be reduced in accordance with 38.7.1.1 of the code but multiplication factor
characters can be evaluated only if the reinforcement is known so further we can continue the calculation by assuming the reinforcement percentage and then we can uh, further reduce this additional moments so friends this is how you have to calculate the additional moments if the column is slender about the major axis or minor axis i hope this video was useful for you please do comment in the comment box if you like the content do share it with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos thank you for watching